Hey, what's happening guys? What's going on? You've tuned into Rules for Rebels. So I got a question to ask you guys. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Should Amazon remove BSR scores? Or at the very least, should Amazon not d publicly display on listings BSR scores? Um, and this is for Amazon merch sellers, uh, as well as Amazon FBA sellers as well. Uh, and this is something that's been coming up a lot more uh, lately. I've heard people kind of mention this over the years, but this is something that's starting to get a lot of traction. A lot of people are like, why do they even show BSR scores? Um, and especially in the Amazon merch space right now, there's a lot of controversy around uh, improved cats, copycats, people copying designs. Um, and I actually made a video earlier this morning about this very subject. I, I hadn't posted it yet. Um, I was thinking about remaking it. Um, I was kind of rambling a little bit, but I was thinking about remaking it. Uh, but here, here's kind of why I want to talk about this. So over the weekend, I saw a post on Amazon Merch, and this is a topic that keeps coming up again and again. But uh, people saying like, man, fuck improved cats. I'm so sick of these improved cats. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, an improved cat is somebody who, uh, rather than kind of coming up with their own ideas for designs, you know, they go on Merch Informer, go on Amazon, look around, see what's popular, see what's selling well. And then some people will just straight up copy a design, like literally take it pixel for pixel, repost it. I think we would all agree that that's wrong. Um, a lot of people will take an existing design and maybe like change a font, change a font color, just edit it minorly, um, and then repost it uh, and go ahead and compete with that initial design. And then other people will actually try to improve a design, right? Like there might be one design, maybe it's a poker shirt and it says, you know, I hope I get three aces on the flop. Um, and there's no graphic and maybe you say well, I, I, I like that phrase I, I like that kind of idea for a poker shirt, but this is a terrible shirt I'm gonna improve it. I'm gonna actually put like, you know I'm gonna illustrate like a dealer's hands, you know flipping out three cards on the flop and then I'm gonna put the phrase in and I'm gonna You know structure it really well um, And it's like an improved cat somebody who, who finds a design that they like or finds a phrase that they like and then tweaks it a little bit improves it and reposts it and in the Amazon merch space, there's a lot of people who get really upset about this. And I, I get it, right? Like, I, I have nothing wrong with improved cats. I think that's what business is. That's what Amazon FBA is. That's what any type of business is, is seeing what somebody else is doing and having success with and then putting your own twist on it, improving it and putting it out as your own. I mean, that's what, what business is all about. Um, I, I think with Amazon merch, people are a little bit more sensitive to it because there's uh, some creativity and there's kind of an artistic aspect of it. Um, so I think because a lot of merch sellers are designers and artists, they, they really take offense to somebody kind of taking their unique idea or their creative idea. But ultimately, at the end of the day, um, you know, you can't protect an idea necessarily. You can't protect a vague idea. You can't necessarily protect just a catchphrase. Um, and, you know, people are going to copy things. People are going to... Uh, going to improve things, but over the weekend, again, I, I saw some people were getting really, really upset with, uh, some guy said he was gonna sue um, a, a popular person in, in the, you know, kind of merch space uh, for kind of copycatting their designs or, or improve catting their designs, and there was kind of a whole discussion in there about it, and then actually today, just a little bit ago, um, I saw another post where somebody was like, man, I'm so sick of improved cats. It's scary how quick people get designs up. And some guy said he, he posted a shirt in like a really, really small micro niche. And he said within, like literally within like 24 hours of him making his first sale, <coughs> Within 24 hours of him making his first sale, he said there was another improved cat design right up there. And he was wondering, like, how does this happen? That's kind of scary how quick they can get up there. Like, it's one thing if I'm selling 50 shirts a month, I kind of expect people to see my design and copy it or tweak it. But really, like, one shirt, I can't even get away with one shirt up there. And so I, I have a little bit of an explanation for that. I think right after somebody makes a shirt, it's gonna give a spike up in the BSR score. And then slowly, unless it continues to make sales, that BSR is gonna drop down. So I think right after you make an initial sale, I think it'll probably show you in a tool like Merch Informer or people who are manually kind of scrolling through Amazon looking at stuff. I think right after a sale, you're initially gonna see a big spike in, in BSR. And a lot of these tools that quote unquote estimate sales may see that and be like, oh, this thing's probably making like 10 or 20 sales a month. In reality, you've only had your first sale and they're not seeing that that shirt's gonna drop down slowly after the first sale. So I think that's kind of, for anybody who's made like one or two sales and seen somebody copy you right away, I think that's why that's happening is initially you're gonna get a big spike after a sale and then it's gonna start dropping unless you uh, kind of consistently make some follow-up sales. But it got me thinking, should Amazon remove BSR scores? Like, like, what's really the purpose of having a BSR score 
publicly available on a listing. A lot of people like hate on programs like Merchant Form. We're like, man, I hate Merchant Form or it makes it too easy for everybody to come over and copy my designs. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I get frustrated when people copy my designs as well. It's annoying when I get a shirt and I get a couple sales and then right away I see somebody else that has kind of, not pixel for pixel, but somebody's kind of taken my idea, copied my design and reposted it and maybe undercut me on price. And it's like, okay, they're gonna make they're gonna make some money and make some sales off you know this unique original idea of mine. It frustrates me, but I mean at the end of the day, that that's what this game is. That that's what business is, and I think everything um, is copycat. You know, even people who are Amazon merch sellers, or I'm sorry, Amazon FBA sellers. What do you do when you're an Amazon FBA seller? You go looking around on Amazon, you find a product, and you try to find a way to improve that product and then create a private label of it. So, um, you know, if I see a tree hammock uh, that that's selling well. And I see some complaints into things like, oh, the straps that came with this tree hammock are really shitty or really crappy. Um, or, you know, I don't really like the way that it connects to the tree, whatever it may be. Okay, people really like this tree hammock, but there's, you know, the straps aren't good. Okay, I'm gonna go find a Chinese supplier to make the same tree hammock for me, but I'm gonna put better quality straps on it. So I'm gonna take this guy's product that's selling well that people like, I'm gonna improve it and I'm gonna resell it myself. Essentially, like what pretty much every Amazon FBA seller does is the same exact thing that, that most merch sellers seem to get upset about. But I think because, again, because it's not artistic, because it's not this um, you know creative idea and it's just a product, I think people don't get as butthurt about it outside of merch. Uh, but ultimately, guys, I mean, that's what business is. Chipotle didn't invent the idea of a burrito shop. They took the idea of a burrito shop and... I would personally rather have like an authentic greasy kind of burrito, but um, you know, for some people they think that Chipotle is an improvement on Mexican food, right? It's healthy or it's fresher ingredients, whatever else. Uh, Chipotle didn't invent the burrito shop. They just kind of repackaged it, improved it, if you like Chipotle, and, and rolled it out on their own. And that's really what every business, you know, every restaurant that's opening up, every ice cream shop, every coffee shop, uh, they're taking an existing idea, uh, trying to improve upon it, trying to make it bigger, or trying to make it better. Uh, starting to do this weird charging, not charging thing. Uh, but that's really what business is all about, is, is finding something that people are having some success with, improving upon it, and, and rolling it out as your own. And obviously there are some people out there who make 100% unique inventions or new things. You know, Facebook, I guess Facebook wasn't even new. Facebook was a, a quote unquote better, I like MySpace better, but Facebook was a better twist on MySpace. But um, anyhow, just kind of a little ramble, I a few minutes here in a car to kill. Um, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. Should Amazon stop posting or stop making publicly available BSR scores or should they not? I'm going to tell you guys why I don't think they'll do it. Because ultimately at the end of the day, Amazon doesn't give a shit if you're making money. They don't give a shit if, if I'm making money. Amazon is all about creating a race to the bottom. It's all about what, what they can do for the customers. So they want fast shipping, they want the lowest price, they want the best product. And by publicly displaying the BSR score, because ultimately at the end of the day, do customers need to see the BSR score? Do customers care what the BSR score is? I would bet you most customers don't even know what a BSR score is. Like if they were to scroll down and see the BSR rating, they probably wouldn't even know what it is. So it makes you ask yourself, like, what's the purpose of Amazon display, publicly displaying that BSR score? And uh, the only thing I can, can can come up with is they want to create this competition, right? Like, if you make a T-shirt and sell it for nineteen ninety five, and I and I see that you're doing well with it because of that BSR score and I come along and I decide that I can improve it and undercut the price, well, guess what? The customer is getting a better t-shirt at a lower price, and that's ultimately what, what Amazon is all about and what Amazon's trying to do. So, um, well, I would love to possibly, potentially maybe see BSR scores gone as well. Um, if they were gone, we would have no idea what sells well on Amazon and what doesn't. And that's not just for merch sellers. That's for, for everybody, right? That's for private labelers, everything else. You know, with eBay, uh, you have Terapeak, which Terapeak's actually better than Amazon BSR scores. Terapeak, uh, it used to be their own company and eBay shared data with Terapeak. Now eBay actually bought Terapeak. But you're getting 100% real authentic data with Terapeak. With Amazon, you know, Merchant Forum and all these tools are just giving an estimate. It's not actually even real figures. So in a lot of ways, eBay actually gives up a lot more data than Amazon, but not as many really people really care about selling on eBay. Um, these days as, as care about Amazon and eBay did actually, or Terapeak I should say, actually did kind of take a step to kind of protect sellers a little bit. It used to be you could actually see the sales ranking and kind of see your competition. And now Terapeak still shows you all that, but they make it kind of an anonymous. They're not gonna show you this particular seller is selling this many products per week or whatever. Um, 
but yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' take. Like, would you like to see Amazon get rid of BSR scores, or do you think BSR scores should stay around because at least it gives us some indication of what's selling and what doesn't sell? Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' take on this. Go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, regardless of what you think, I don't think BSR scores are, are going anywhere because, in essence, uh, BSR scores kind of create market competition and do exactly what Amazon wants, which is better products at lower prices. And it may not be good for you, it may not be good for me, uh, but it's good for Amazon customers and therefore it's good for Amazon. So that's my little uh, little rant or my little ramble for today. Uh, let me know you guys' thoughts. Drop a comment, thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll catch you on the next video.